All right, hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I know this doesn't look as amazing right now, but I'm gonna be unboxing and putting together with you guys um, everything. So yeah, I think we'll be inking today. Um, anyways, as you can tell from the title, this is my Anderson Pens haul. I placed an order with them last week um, because they release this baby right here and i've been looking at twist b pens because i've heard a lot of good things about it and i follow a few people on instagram and uh it just looks so nice and i did you know look up reviews as well and there's a lot of good reviews out there so um yeah i just decided to purchase this one and also i i don't remember who it was but um, I was watching a video and had mentioned that a bigger kind of barrel pen is actually really good for your hands. Please correct me if I'm wrong, um, but that's just, you know, in that video she mentioned that. And I was like, all right, I'm going to try it out because all my pens are actually the Caveco um, pocket pens or the sports, you know, this one. And they're, they're rather small. And I, I like those because they are very lightweight and they do feel great in my hands. But I do want to try, I guess, a bigger size type of fountain pens and see how that goes. Um, so anyways, yeah, this was released like last week or something. And I, I was like, I really want to get my hands on that. It looks so beautiful. And it's at a pretty good price point that's not like a sailor pen. Um, eventually, I want to get myself a sailor pen, but I think maybe like on my birthday or something special like that. But for now, I'm like, okay, I want to try this out. We'll see how it goes. I also obviously picked this up. Let's open this one first. So this is by Caveco. And it's another, um, I guess, collection. It's like a special one. And this is the lavender. And I have seen this in person. And... I, I I was gonna get it last time I was in the store, but I didn't for some reason. Um, and then I just keep thinking about it, and then eventually I'm like, well, when I was placing my order for this pen, I was like, I'm gonna just get this, and then I'll have an even about amount of Caveco pens, and then I should be all set. Um, I'm still waiting on my iridescent one, so when that comes in, obviously I'm gonna ink it with you guys and show you. But yeah, I'm still waiting on that one. Um, so right now I I believe I have a total of five Caveco pens that are the size um but anyways this is caveco collection um my other ones let me show you so i have the macchiato and the white those say it's caveco sport and then the olive one caveco collection so same with this one um even though this one is silver I really love the, the ones with the gold but i do really love the macchiato that and that one has the Caveco Caramel Brown Ink, and it's my favorite. Like, ser seriously, guys, my favorite ink. So I still have cartridges for that one, but eventually I'm probably going to buy the, the full-size ink or something. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so I actually ordered this with the normal clip-on, but they were sold out, so they gave me the deluxe. And, you know, <laughs> I, honestly, I didn't even know that it says collection on it. And I, in my mind, I was, I was wanting the deluxe for the ones with the Caveco. I don't know if you can see. So, so the deluxe clip-ons I have on this one because it says Caveco Collection. And then for the sports, I have the normal, I think these are $3 clips. So these, the deluxe ones, they look a little bit fancier. And I don't know, just because it's different, I want it to be different for the clips. So anyway, so this worked out um yeah they were kind enough to just give me this one because they were sold out the other one and um yeah anyways look at this you just kind of you slide it on it's a little tight okay there we go it's on and it just looks so cute so I got this in extra fine you guys know me i like my extra fines i do want to venture out into um, bigger nibs later on um, but for now I, I like extra fine and yeah it does come with blue cartridge like usual and it's just like that so there's the nib silver nib so pretty so that is the lavender 
Oh, that worked out with the clip. I love it. Again, I didn't know it was Coveco Collection. I thought it was Coveco Sport. Um, anyways, let's put that one aside. We will be inking that today. Along with, I don't know if you guys remember, I got the Coveco Sport in the color Bordeaux. So I'll be inking this up as well today. So we have two Coveco there that we're gonna ink up today. This is um, the Twisby pen. This is my first Twisby. I'm so excited about it. And again, it just released, so um, I'm really excited. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to save all of these instructions and like figure out how to fill it and everything. But I did watch a video and it seemed really simple, but oh, this packaging is nice. Okay, so it kind of just tells you this is bearing grease not included. Do not clean out the grease. Okay, so I'm gonna keep that stuff so diamond piston filling pattern pen this is i forget it doesn't say what it is let me look at my invoice okay so this is called a twisby 580 fountain pen in white rose gold and it retails for 84.99 that's how much i paid for it um from anderson pens so this is, I believe, more expensive than my Caveco student pen. I'm not sure. Come on. There we go. All right, I got it open. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. This packaging is really nice. Oh, okay. That comes out. And here's the pen. Oh my gosh, that feels nice. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. Is there anything in here? Probably not. Oh, no, there, I see something. Ooh. Okay, so this... I don't know what that is, but here's this silicone grease. Okay, so there's fancy stuff there. Okay. Let's put these back. Really nice packaging here interesting okay oh wow wow you guys okay so i don't even know what to say but it's really pretty i do really love the white and the rose gold stunning i got this in extra fine by the way okay so it's also a twist but not just like a little bit of a twist cap. Wow, look at that. Wow. Does this open? No. I don't know how to do this. Oh, wait. Do you... <gasps> look. So that's how you ink it. Um, you push it all the way down, and then you obviously pull up to to get as much ink as you want. Oh my goodness! I am so excited, and look at just the details on the cap there. So yeah. Here's my very first twist bee and I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna ink that up today as well. So we have three things to ink up. Um, so we have three inks. So the first one here, I I mean, if they had this in a sample size, I would have just gotten a sample size because you guys know I'm new to everything, um, fountain pen, so I, I didn't wanna buy full size of everything. Uh, anyway, so this really caught my attention. And it's called, it's by Colorverse Special USA Ink in Chesapeake Bay. And I was looking at like um, swatches and whatnot and it just looks so pretty. And this is what I'm going to use for the Twisby. Um, 
So yeah, I'm really excited. Let's look at the bottle. Again, I, if they had a sample, I definitely would have just gotten a sample, but they did not. But this is a smaller bottle. I think this was $12. Let me see here. This was this one was $13.50. So not too terrible. And it is 15 ml. And it's a cute little little bottle. So not too terrible. And then the samples, I I believe are three. $3.75. Yeah, so, okay, let me just show you. I got two different samples here, obviously. So, I got the Sailor Ink Studio number 252, which is going to be for the purple. Um... For my lavender Kavekoa. And this one was $3.75 for the sample. And then, let's see, this is 3ml vial. And then this one is 3ml vial. And it's by, it's Colorverse Brunch Date. And it was only $2 for this one. So this is more so of like a maroonish color. And this is gonna go into Bordeaux. Pen. So I kind of, I you know, I have all these pens and I I will use them, obviously. I have been, which I'm proud of myself. Um, but yeah, I wanted them to all kind of have different inks just so I would use it. Because I feel like if it's all the same ink, I'm only just going to use one pen. You know what I mean? So they all are going to have different pens or different inks. So excited. So anyways, let me go get um, my... A swatch notebook here which is this little guy um and let me get some paper towels and q-tips and we'll start swatching all right so i actually got the coveco um what's it called converters these were the ones from amazon and it does look smaller compared to the other converters that i got from anderson pens um at the time anderson pens actually did not have these in stock but now they do so kind of <laughs> i was like dang it i should just order from there um because on amazon these were i think two for 14 so seven bucks um anderson pens are five dollars a piece so cheaper there for sure anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do do do, do. i'm gonna do the lavender one first because it's a Sailor Ink Studio and the last, um, yeah, these are Sailor, Sailor. I actually have the a different ink that I want to swatch on this, so I'm going to skip that page and then we're going to do a, this Sailor Ink Studio 252. I need to grab my glass pen. So I like using my glass pen to do my swatches here. And this glass pen was from Amazon. It was only $6. I believe I told you guys that, but <laughs> it works for six bucks. Love it. Okay, let's do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch first before I ink up my pen. So again, this is Sailor Ink Studio 252. I don't think I'm going to speak throughout this. See this? It's so pretty. It's like you think it's so dark, but it's really not. It's like a mauve purple. I love that so much. <laughs> Just so fun. So... There you have it. And then I'm gonna go in. Kinda of wrote that as ugly, but all right, we're gonna go ahead and ink up this baby. There we go. 
pops right in and you just oh this is always so nerve-wracking i don't know i always just in my mind i'm gonna get it all over the place but but we're okay we'll be fine we will be fine I don't think I got much in there. Hold on, let me try again. There we go. Okay. It's always nerve wracking, but if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> I think it's kind of cleaning it up as the best that I can. And I don't know, but I hate it when I see um, ink right on the nib. So I always try to just like wipe it off, but it's always pretty hard to get it all clean, but I can do it. There you go. I think we're all, we're all set with my lavender Caveco. So cute. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Wow. And today is the 24th. I love it. I love it. Okay, I really like this ink. It writes really well. Um, that's something I noticed with Sailor inks is I love them. Um, they don't leak or like have any, what's it called? Um, I don't even know what to call it. Like there's no like, what do you call that? Like with the Inaho ink, it does that, which Sailor inks do not. So I'm really a fan of Sailor inks right now. I'm hoping the color verse will be just like the Sailor ink. We will see, but I love, love this color. It's a really pretty mauve color. I didn't want something that was in your face. So, oh, so happy with that one. All right, next we have two color verse inks. I think I'm gonna start off with um, the lighter shade. Should we do that? No, we'll start off with um, the ink for this. So this is also a Caveco sport pen. And okay, the ink that I wanna use for this is Colorverse Brunch Date. And this is like a maroonish shade. It looks really pretty. It doesn't look too dark or anything. So I'm hoping, um, you know, it looks like the swatches I've seen online and I've just got an ink all over because it had the bubble and the vial okay all right so let's go ahead and swatch this one with the q-tip oh it looks like blood wow okay here we go It looks almost orangey, no? It's like coppery, which, okay, I don't have anything like this, which that's good because I don't want all my inks to look the same, even though I like kind of like the same things, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go over this one twice. And then I'll go over this one three times to see how really dark that gets. Oh, how fun. I love swatching, you guys. Like, this is, it's like kind of therapeutic. Um, okay. Punch. Neat. I actually like this. This is really cute. I like that it's not too red. That's kind of why I picked it. It kind of has that 
um, you know, brownish undertone. It's really pretty. Let's see here. Okay, it's not leaking through. Good, good. Because I, the those those ones like are really wet. So, anyways, here we have the Caveco Sport in Bordeaux. Love that this one is like you know gold. So I have the converter here. I'm just gonna pop it in. Sometimes I have a hard time popping these in, but the other one was easy. This one's not so. Like, how awful would it be if it popped out while you're inking it? Okay. I think it's ready. Oh, and that was not drying yet. Okay. Here we go. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do this. And <laughs> this part is still wet. That little, the last dot there. <laughs> Extra fine. So far, this is like, um, the sailor which is good it's not doing that leak looking thing you know so I'm very happy very happy with this one you guys it's so far like the sailor inks look at that I love it. So that one's still wet. Um, let me blot it. But pretty, pretty. It doesn't have any, I don't know what to call that. It just, this one just kind of like leaks or something. Maybe it depends, depends on the paper too because I have used that in my um, passport inserts and it was fine. But yeah. So, very happy with this color. It's different, but I love it. I love that it has that brown undertone. Really nice. Okay. And last but not the least, we have Chesapeake Bay, which this one's like a beige, like literally like that. So, I'm pretty excited about it. Oh gosh. How do I open this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so another one by Colorverse, and let's do this. Oh wow, that's really light. I'm very light, but very pretty. Like, do you see why I like this? I saw swatches of it, and I was like, it kind of has a green undertone. Like, it looks really nice to me. Yeah, I love that. Love that so much. I'm gonna do this one. And then we'll do one more of that. Yeah. That's cute. Love it. <gasps> wow. You know, I also really like writing with this glass pen. <laughs> it's really nice. Chessa. Peak Bay. This is really, really nice. I love that. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to use this in my journals. That's so nice. I love that color. This is actually gonna go well with my weekly, current weekly spread in my Hobonichi Weeks. 
So, oh my gosh, that's such a pretty color. Okay, here we go. This is the Twisby, and I already have it like down, so I can just twist it back up the other way. Let me get it in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna dip it all the way, I guess. I don't know. Okay, which way? This way. I don't see it coming out. Am I doing this right? Oh, here we go. It's coming. Oh, lots of bubbles in there. I don't think I got a lot in. Hold on. Try again. Okay. I did it. I did it. So this is easy. I kind of really like this. Um, because you don't have to buy a cartridge, you know. Like, this is it. This is all you need. That's so much easier than the Kaveco. Wow. Okay. Look at that. And you can see the ink. So you know when to refill it. <laughs> okay, first time um, writing with this. This the fight. Wait, I was older. Wow, I love, okay, I love this. This is really nice. I liked writing with it. It was very nice and smooth. Um, it feels good. It is heavy with the cap, but I think without the cap, I prefer it without the cap, yeah. It's lighter on my wrist. Um, I love it. Love this a lot. Definitely a good choice of ink. Very happy with this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so happy. This is a beautiful pen. I am set for a long time. Again, my next, um, you know, the pen that I want to purchase next is actually a sailor pen, but I'm going to wait till my birthday for that because I want to use up all these pens that I have currently inked up. Okay, so so far I have my Caveco collection in dark olive with the, I believe this is a Pilot, Iroshizuku Inaho ink, which is really pretty. It just, it tends to do that, which is really not a fan of. Um, and then I have the Sailor Ink Studio 373 in my lovely Kaveco Student 20s Jazz, extra fine. All my um, pens, by the way, are extra fine. 373 for this. And then we have my Sailor Haha -ha in my white Caveco. And then this is where my iridescent one's gonna go. Um, this is what we just did today the Sailor Ink Studio 252. My lavender, and then Colorverse Brunch Date in my Bordeaux. And last but not least, I have. The color is Chesapeake Bay in my Twisby. Um, I do have my macchiato. I did not swatch this because I don't know how to swatch it. Um, I have just cartridges for this, so I can't really do this kind of swatches. Eventually, I will, but this is the Caramel Brown by Caveco, and I love it. It's my favorite. Um, and then, I don't know. I really like this one, though. But this one just writes so good in all papers I've been using lately. So, yeah. Anyways, that is it. For this video, let me zoom you out. I have, I see my mess here. Oh, not too messy, but yeah, I have my thing there, ink. Look at that, love it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Also seeing me ink my new pens up. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and list and link everything that we did today and I, that I showed you today. And yeah, thank you for being here and I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye.